is a quick video to show you how constant speed pace cars work who are working the new uh, race control system 64 version. First of all, I've, uh, the pacing name is constant demo and I've set the default throttle value at 35. I've got the car on the track, there's power, and as soon as it crosses the start finish line, it'll start recording the lap and then stop. So it's recorded the lap down here. We can then test it, see if it works. And it works fine. So the next lap I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and make uh, the pace car go a bit faster by putting in an acceleration down the main straight. You can see acceleration and deceleration zones marked with the orange cones. So I'm going to start the pace car off. I'm going to use my space bar to do this. So you can see I've got three sectors marked here. Sector one. So I'm going to go up with my pace there and down with my pace there for some deceleration and then I will start up again. I have to do a partial lap and it will do that at the default partial value. It's past the start line and you should see an acceleration down straight. Yeah, acceleration will allow deceleration. So if it goes around, I'm going to adjust that deceleration, make it a little bit shorter, and make it changing this one here. A little bit better. And you can adjust to your heart's content. We could make this one. Off a little bit, risking crashing, but it seems to work better. Work a little bit more. So now we've got a faster constant speed pace car, which is actually a variable one. It's just a different way of adjusting your car. And uh, it's a work in progress. If you want to put a lane change in at a sector, you can or a random lane change, or you can use the brake as well.